Hey, this is the uh, geek protagonist. So I'm uh, doing a driving thought. Haven't done one of these in a minute. You know, uh, you do the, uh, I do the thoughts on a walk and driving thoughts every now and again. I've barely been outside, but I have to go somewhere. So there's something that's been laying on my heart for a little bit that I want to make a commentary about. And I was originally going to do like a full video, sit down and everything, but it's weighing on me enough that I was like, you know what? Why don't I, uh, do it while I'm driving because I want to do it off the cuff anyway. So something that's been going on in America and I have people who I, you know, I've been friends with who I may not talk to as much, but we are still friends. And, you know, if I said, Hey, what's up? Let's hang right now. They're down. I'm down, you know, the whole nine. I used to, uh, train in Taekwondo, Shinmu Hapkido. Uh, you know, fun fact, maybe one day when a trivia question happens, you'll know this. And, uh, yeah. So I have a little bit of, um, feel, you know, and, and stuff with the Asian community, uh, especially dealing with Koreans a lot. Always been awesome people. Uh, if you ever want to know about some of my awesome, like really cool martial arts school stuff, I'll tell you because there's actually a story with dealing with Bruce Lee, real life stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically, I keep seeing this thing happen on my news feeds and reels and stuff where people are attacking Asian people of Asian descent. They don't care if they're Chinese they're Korean or anything like I, I've seen it but it seems like their things are happening and a lot of people are of course making it political because it seems like everything has to be political and I think that's a little uh, a little crazy now the more I see one where the uh, 60 I think she was 68 and this dude tried to attack her and she put the pause on this guy. But watching the news report afterwards, you saw the devastation of what it was because it was like a violation to her. And I think that's messed up. And I'm catching like every time something happens. So like you got the dude that ended the lives of those multiple people and that police officer saying how he had a bad day. Look, I had a bad day. Heck, I just had a bad week. <laughs> so I'm not going around doing that, but he was at his ropes end and all this other stuff. And there are people arguing, was it a, a passion to hate crime or was it just a crime of opportunity? Now you can go with what you think because people are like, oh, well, we got to get all the details or whatever. The guy says he didn't do it. Um, it wasn't a, a crime of, uh, you know, of because they were Asian. He just happened to target Asian ran places that are known to have Asians in them. And most of the people he took out were Asians and he was heading out to take out more Asians um, while he's also uh, creating collateral damage with two uh, Caucasian people. So people are like, well, see, he took out two Caucasian people. Well, from what I understand in Atlanta, for example, I think only five or 6% of that population is Asian. You know, you can believe what you want to me. If it looks like a duck, sounds like a duck, walks like a duck, it's a duck. But they're, I think they're trying to be careful about this because they don't want to fan the flames. At the same time, you need to call something what it is, but I guess since the criminal told them that that's not what it was about, it was more of about uh, his uh, personal incel sexual aggression, whatever it is, that that's what it was for, but you kind of targeted places where you know a specific type of race stays. So, all right. But if you don't think it was a hate crime, okay. 
you know, that's your right to not think that. The truth is, because I've seen people, I just seen a video where somebody uh, put a thing up saying Asians, who is an Asian person herself, but she's conservative. I can't remember her name right now, but she's conservative. Um, she does a lot of conservative channel stuff, but she's like Asians. The, the liberal media is not your friends. And I see other people going, uh, well, the liberals are doing this and that. All right, look, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you are so hard up on one side, 50% of the time, you're wrong. If you're going all hard in the paint, 100%, 24-7, Republican, the right, or if you're going 100%, 24-7, liberal on the left, it like, you, you're wrong 50% of the time. Now, if you need an example of this, take uh, black people. Here's an argument that I hear a lot from both sides. So, let's go to the right argument first. On the right argument, it is stating, hey, you um, black people commit more crimes than everyone else as a culture. Uh, black people end more people's lives than every other culture. Uh, black people attack black people more than the police do more than other races do black people uh black on black crime is the highest thing so in turn because of these kind of things that means that that's why black people are getting policed more that's why more black people are in jail that's why more uh than any other race that's why these things right oh can't turn that way somebody's doing something okay so now, if you're sitting here, you're going, okay, and these are actual true statistics. So it's not like, uh, it's all terrible. These are these are our true statistics uh, of these things that are happening. Like black people do these things. So that's the argument on the right. So now the big right argument then comes down to not all of them, but uh, the general consensus and what I have seen and stuff is that means there's no racism. Uh, or, you know, whatever they, I'm not monetized. So I'll say the words I'm going to think YouTube's not going to ban me, but maybe they will. I don't know. But basically there's no racist. There you go. Right. And with that, there is no, like the systemic racism thing is just something the liberals want because they're trying to be martyrs and are trying to make a bigger problem what it is and these things aren't real and we haven't been like that, that like you know with those kind of thoughts and stuff since the 70s and um like the thing when they were talking about Meghan Markle and I think like Ben Shapiro or something said something about like that nobody said that when they asked her uh will the baby come out like dark skinned or whatever he's like nobody does that what I don't believe it. Give me examples. You know, and he talks like really fast and he talks like that. Um, yeah. Well, what? Now let's go to the other side. Now you got the um, folks who talk about being evolved on the other, you know, saying we're beyond that on the other side. So the sentiment most of the time is, is that there is no you know, racism. Now, I, I uh, work in, you know, financial stuff or whatever, and I know about mortgages and things. So, if there's nothing, because they talk about, like, for example, redlining. Um, redlining, for as simple as I can put it, and sorry if it's a little just fast, basically, the simple way I could put it is you stop uh, people of other races, age, things like that from getting a mortgage or you give them much higher rates or high rate, like basically off of just the color of their skin. You give them not so much. So if a person was Caucasian and let's say they were going to get a mortgage and they got an interest rate for good credit, you know, let's say they got like a 780 credit you know, something out, out there, astronomical, a 780 credit. And they turn around and they get a mortgage payment of like $500, right? Uh, that's not including tax and insurance. Now you have a black person who 
has a 780 credit. Uh, so, you know, similar field and everything like this. And instead of them getting like a 500 or $600, you know, thing, their interest rate is, so where the one person, maybe their interest rate was like 14%. They, just by the person being black, they give them a 15% interest rate. There's no reason for it, but they do it. So that's kind of a, in a nutshell, red line. So mortgages, the way they're supposed to be set up is that they're supposed to not qualify you or everything is supposed to be the same. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give me some readers. Everything is supposed to be the same. Well, you can't be the same if you turn around and you know, you're disqualifying people for their race. So in 2018, there was a case of this actually happening. Now we're in 2021. That was only a couple years ago where somebody was actually redlining and doing these things to people, even though people are like, you need to get rid of this, you need to get rid of that, there's, there, there, there's no proof or nothing. Well, it was actually proven as a court case of that, that, that redlining was actually happening in 2018. And I think the case flew over into 2019 and there was a, some things that had in the mortgage industry that got buttoned up because of it. Now, there's also... Uh, other cases so like recently you might have heard about Joe Biden dealing with the farmers now for a stint a time in my life uh, so I'll stay, I actually did a little bit of work on um, farms I've done some weird things in my life uh, <laughs> I actually got a shirt from the place and everything too like a nice shirt and I did like it was just like a little work it was like a, a work uh, thing to do stuff um, that's why I laugh when people say pigs are the dirtiest animals no chickens are chickens are the most dirtiest animals a chicken might drop a boo-boo, another chicken come up, eat that boo-boo. Pig won't do that. Just want you to understand that. Um, but <laughs> yeah, after cleaning things, yeah, chickens are, uh, they're, 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 they're a little nasty. Um, but anyway, so what happens is, is that when I talk to the guy uh, that used to run the farm or whatever years ago, he talked about how a lot of times he wouldn't get the government assistance, so he would have to get some extra help um, doing things like uh, his son used to help and everything. Because a lot of people don't realize that the farming industry, as important as it is, is not very lucrative. So the government has to subsidize the farming all the time. Well, people of brown skin and other races that were not Caucasian actually, and this was recent, like up until recent, um, the court case came out originally, I think in like 1996, 1997. And it was a recent thing right there that definitely, definitely happened. That the people, they weren't getting treated fairly. They weren't getting the same kind of funds for doing the same kind of work. They weren't getting the same stuff. And these are actually proven things. And it's one of the biggest court cases, the farmland thing is one of the biggest court cases I think since after affirmative, uh, not affirmative action, after um, uh, the civil rights movement. It's actually one of the biggest court cases around because the people were being denied money, denied assistance, denied help simply for the color of their skin. So there's two cases right there. Now, does that mean that there's a form of systemic racism? I mean, there's two examples, prime examples right there of recent history within the last 30, you know, 20 years, 30 years of a situation happening that was simply doing it. So to sit there and deny and say it's not, then it is. But to sit there and say that everything is also built off of uh, systemic racism is also not the way to go. And that's what I'm saying. There is nuances to these situations and people need to, instead of people always trying to take a political stance, why don't we do this? I uh, just wanted to add this part uh, here as well, that when it comes to incarcerations, when people go, well, there's more black people in the prison, it's also because per crime, um, these are also real statistics. Um, even a lawyer that I used to be friends with actually told me about it as a guy going to law school. He's a lawyer now, but he's like out, out west. Even he said it. He said, when you have people that commit a crime, if you take a woman a man and a black man and let's say they each one of them stole medicine 
He said, usually the woman will get off with a fine. Um, sometimes not even that. She'll get off with like a first offender thing, time served. Uh, the Caucasian guy, if you make that guy Caucasian, he might get off with a uh, time served and maybe a, a fine as well. Well, when you get a, a black guy, there is a possibility he might go to jail for maybe a short period of time. And so if everyone is on like drugs, for example, and they and it's a black uh, black male like myself and a let's say a white female and we both were dealing with some form of drugs and we both got arrested in the same drug, same everything. I may get a heart. I normally will get a harsher sentence than she will, even though it could be the same amount of crime. We could, it could be both of us having the first offense. I will get a harsher sentence for simply being my gender and the color of my skin. These are proven things, even by the most hardcore feminist things that the court system is built against men. And then on top of that, black people has been proven time and time again. That's why Kim Kardashian and her team has been trying to help because we get hit harder. That is also a real fact. And uh, this has been a interruption of the geek protagonist. Back to the video. Now, the Asian community and the black community have not always gotten along. Um, there are things uh, dealing with slavery, old time stuff, everything. It, there's a lot of uh, little facets and factors and things that have happened throughout the course of history. Um, you can look it up. I'm not going to get into it, but like even with the old West and stuff like that. There's a lot of little factors that come into play, you know? Yeah, I know. Three different, you know, three different things on a video, but I uh, made it back home. So what I wanted to do in closing was this. Instead of everybody just trying to find a reason to go, yeah, okay, Asian people are being targeted. Uh, it's, it's the same equivalent of when black people... Uh, get targeted by the police and other people or anything. It's just terrible. No matter how you slice it, no matter how you do it. So instead of everyone trying to find their political stance and who's not whose friend and who's not whose ally and who's not whose whatever, how about we do something new? How about we start with the crime of attacking someone for their skin color is bad. I think no matter which side of the aisle you're on, everyone can agree that's bad. What's going on because of what's been happening with uh, the viral situation that people are attacking these people because technically they're kind of making them like the boogeyman and it's something that they can put a face to, which is shouldn't be, but that's what they're doing. So I think in order to help with this, because I, I seen like um, one place is trying to start like a neighborhood like watch program and things. And then I've seen some people go, well, why aren't black people jump into their defense? They always jump. No, you could watch Jubilee. Uh, they had the black versus Asian thing. You can watch it. There is some things there where some, there's even in their own Asian culture, like different people are considered at different levels and is you know, stinks, but it's true. But I think it should be beyond just, well, black people should do it because black people have had to deal with it or white people. Do it. Like, I think it should just be, we're Americans. So when people are doing something wrong against your fellow American, you should take up because they're your fellow American. Let's let's start with that. Like let's let's find the common ground. We all probably, you know, anyone who's a good person agrees that attacking someone over their skin color is bad. Doesn't matter what skin color it is. Attacking somebody because of that is also un American. Because we are all Americans. Whether you like them or not, we're all Americans. Let's start there. Then in the minutia, we'll get to the things. So, right now, I do agree with that hashtag stop Asian hate. It's unnecessary. 
it's unwarranted. These people are fellow Americans, just like me. They're going through something that's racially motivated. I've, I've had it happen before. And don't sit there and belittle people's experiences, too. Because sometimes people will go, well, you did this. Well, no, that's my lived experience. Oh, you're seeing my cat. My lived experience, you're not going to deny my lived experience. You're... There, um, when I did the video on um, the the uh, gassing of people when they got hit with the tear gas, and I had someone in the comments, and it wasn't matter or nothing, we had a conversation, but they were kind of doing like a, well, you're following the liberal media, you're following this. No. So I'm making it clear right now. I follow all types of stuff. I look at both sides. I can name people I watch that is on the right and the left because I want all the information. Not just Fox News or what CNN tells me. I read the information. I research. I watch people's social medias who are going through it. I listen to things. I'm very broad about it. Because I don't think one side is actually right or wrong all the time. So we could start there. Now people are like, well, they're blowing it up. No, we also can agree. Because it, it is being proven that. Crimes against Asian people, violent physical attacks are happening, right? We can agree. So, let's nix all the political stuff and just stop, because Asians are getting it right now, stop with the Asian thing, stop with the Asian hate, um, stop with the black hate, stop with the white, like, let's try to be better, let's try to be the idea of what America is supposed to be. Remember the past, but don't let the past hold you down. Right now, you got people with fire that are angry and upset, right? Fire can do one of two things. Fire, you set something on fire, it can destroy it, right? Well, when you're making metal, like uh, when you're making a sword or you're making um, steel beams or you need to weld something to fix it, that also takes fire. Fire can also build. So... I think people either need to take that fire and build on it and stop taking that fire and taking it down. I, I'm still seeing video after video, even of Asian people, like, don't, don't ask black people for this. Like, look what we did. Yes, the history is there. Don't forget history. But let's see if we can go beyond history and make new history and fix things. Let's bridge the gap between the relationship of the communities. Let's see, maybe we can get something better. Maybe it will help both sides for their causes and the, the situations there are. Because there are people who sit there and they, they act like, oh, liberals are doing everything or Republicans. Like, no, it's just conservatives are doing everything. Just the way it is. Right now, Asian people are being attacked. So, they're, and hashtag stop the hate. I don't care about all the politics behind it. At the end of the day, the facts are Asian people are being targeted. It's bad. It needs to stop. Simple as that. Just like when uh, a lot of, and when people also bring up that thing about, well, black people kill more people than cops, you know, uh, each other than cops do. The whole thing is the cop's job is not to sit there and end me. Yeah, you can point out that maybe black people are, are, are doing things to each other, um, doing crimes to each other and ending each other's lives prematurely. That does not mean that now that writes off any cops that did it wrong, too. That doesn't mean that the guy who was kneeling on George Floyd is now okay. No, we don't need that extra help <laughs> to do that. So, that's all I really wanted to say about it. Um, I would like everyone to try to be better. I, I have no age people and stuff, and it's terrible what's going on. And I think holding, holding on to the anger in the communities is not helping anyone. I think we should try to uplift each other as best as we can and show support. That's all I got to say. Um, like I said, you may not agree, you may agree, but that's how I feel. I think stop Asian hate is a good cause and it needs to stop. Because it's stupid why these people are getting attacked. And also, too, you're attacking older people because 9 out of 10, if you attack a younger person, they'll probably put the paws on you. So you're a double coward for that. Geek protagonist, you stay safe, you stay healthy, you stay real, and I'll see you.